this video a shortened version of a video I have uh, I made some weeks ago what I'm gonna try it's uh, to build on a modern Linux uh, system the first web server ever that was called the CERN HTTPD that was the first web server and it was built uh, at the CERN, the center, uh, European Center for the Nuclear Research, and it was built by the founders of the of the web, uh, Mr. Tim Berners Lee and and his uh, team. That web web server originally ran. In a, in a box like the one you are seeing right here it was a next system running the next OS the next operating system and this was the company that was founded by Steve Jobs when he was fired from Apple back in the 90s so for this <laughs> let's say for for, for, for Taking this journey in, uh, in on a, an imaginary DeLorean, we are going back to 1996, where the last version of the of the CERN HTTPD was released. And let's start. We, we are gonna download the source the source code. Originally, I I've done the same thing. But running on a on on an old Debian system that was a um, Debian potato. Now what I've done what I did today it's adapting the, the original sources in order to be to be built uh, with a modern version of the C compiler GCC. Uh, so let's try it. So I'm gonna copy the sources to the directory I just created. patch we are going to apply it and as you may see 
these were the files I had to modify uh, in order to, to be able to build this source, this ancient source code with, with the modern uh, compiler and libraries. So let's take a look. Main changes were actually in, in this file, the make file, the main make file for Linux. And here, these are most of the changes, right? We are telling, hey, GCC, stick to standard for C from GNU from GNU 1999. And also, don't warn, don't don't warn us, don't tell us about variables that are being set and we aren't using, right? Most probably back in the time when the CERN HTTP uh, hit the road, uh, the C compiler were the C compiler was much more benevolent, right? And we are also telling the linker to link against the crypt library, right? We can see some other changes if it we can take if we take a look at the patch but mostly most of the other changes consisted of changing some header or adding a different library or updating the data the data types for instance in this line I remember I had to change the data type to, to this one instead of using a simple int because uh, this this data type for this kind of data was not allowed but by by the by the compiler nowadays so okay with with the patch applied let's try to build the software we're running make as you may see, we are still getting a lot of warnings, but nowhere, no critical errors so far. So let's hope that this works. And well, at least it's com it's it's compiled, it's built. Have fun. If you have any problems, contact the W3. So now under the daemon directory for Linux, we do have the binaries here. It's httpd version version 3 and we are gonna try to run it. Um, in this directory, the guys from CERN included several um, several config files, several examples for the configurations so we are we are gonna um, we are going to edit the configuration for to run the software okay mm -hmm. well I'm gonna run it with my own user not with root so I'm gonna run it in uh, on port 8080 no need to switch here we can tell where do we want to log so, so there's, there's no I mean this was done just for fun uh, there's no actual uh, utility or, or it's not useful nor advisable to run uh, this server for productive uh, means nowadays of course it's just an exercise um, let me see which well we're going let's create a directory for Logs files.
set up a directory where we are going to serve our web, web pages.